Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I am Dr. Becky Campbell, and one of the things I'm most passionate about is histamine intolerance. One of the reasons I'm most passionate about it is because I have it myself. So here's how you know if you have histamine intolerance. So histamine is actually not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing that's essential to the immune system in our body. But the problem becomes when histamine builds up because we don't have the proper enzyme levels to break it down. That can come from a number of reasons. It can be genetics, it can be poor gut health since that's where that enzyme is made predominantly. So some of the symptoms of histamine intolerance are migraines, eczema, vertigo, anxiety, flushing, racing hearts. There's really so many different symptoms that you can have. The best way to handle this is you find the best list of foods that are high in histamine. Those foods are foods like fermented foods, vinegars, citrus fruits, avocados, tomatoes, anything aged, um, you know, aged meats. There's a lot of different foods, but you find those foods and you cut them out of your diet. And while you cut those out of your diet, you're going to start looking for the underlying causes of your histamine intolerance. So that can be, like I said, poor gut health, that can be genetic issues, that can be um, sex hormone imbalance, thyroid imbalance, thyroid hormone imbalance, nutrient deficiencies, a lot of different causes. So you start working on the causes. Stress is probably one of the biggest causes. And once you start to manage all those, you can start to tolerate those foods again. So that's my quick information about what histamine is, what histamine intolerance is, and the best way to manage it.